Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Yeah, hi guys, we're back at it again, doing what we do best, make it happen all day, every day. Chop, chop, you know we do. All right, so today I decided I'm going to give now one pot style. You know what I'm saying? Aki, salt fish with some vegetable. One pot, you know what I'm minus the salt fish, you could have an ital Aki vegetable rice style. One pot. All right, check my ingredients out. Yeah, so today I'm doing quarter rice. You know, some okra as always. You guys already know most of what we do. Okra is in there, you know what I'm saying? I got some aki left over from the last time we do the aki and saltfish. I got some saltfish right here. I got a little bit of butter for more flavor as well, you know. Butter minus for the rastaman ital style pot, you know what I'm saying? We got some red bean right here, which we're gonna put in here for more flavors. And you already know seasoning, we have our season right here. We got garlic, thyme, onion, scallion. You know what I said? We got some peppers, assortment of peppers. And you know we ain't going with the coconut, we got some coconut milk in here as well. Nice and flavorful, you know. I already know we get salt and pepper and everything that we cook. And we're going to put a little bit of that Jamaican VIP secret marinade rub, whatever you guys call it, in it. Alright? So let's just go ahead and start putting stuff together. What we're going to do, we're going to cut this up. You can cut these any way you want to cut them. And you know, if you want to julienne, and you want to dice it, you know. You can even rough chop it as well too. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of rough dice them, not too small, not too big, you know. So normally, the reason why I do this just to make everything kind of go everywhere into the rice. You're gonna see the end product of it, you know, a little bit of everything. And if you have some pumpkin as well, and you wanna put some pumpkin in here, you can do it too, you know. Get a couple of requests that I should make some pasta. If some guys want to know to make some pasta, but then the you know, pasta is a little bit more kind of difficult because you're probably going to need a machine to make it. And you're going to need a knife, rolling pin to roll it out. But we won't figure it out for you guys. We won't make it happen. We already have the the mixer, so what we need to do is get the parts and just you know plug it in there and we're good to go. So normally my garlic is smashed, you know, like that. And I'm putting extra garlic in this one because you know, the salt fish, you want to make sure you have the flavor garlic or the, the salt fish or salt cut is a little bit on the fishy side. You know? Some bay leaf, some you know, all spice or pimento seed, whatever you guys call it, that's gonna go in there too as well. You know? So alright, when we come up, we're gonna get into the rest of it. I don't wanna kinda of bore you guys with my chopping. You guys already know that we are chop chop, so it's what we do all day, every day. All right. So yeah, all right. Vegetable cut up nice. So what I, what I normally do, or you can do whatever you want. I sweat off the veggies. Just light, lightly sweat them off. You know, to extract some more flavor out of it. You know what I'm saying? Garlic, everything there going at once. Onion, peppers, everything going in at once. Aki and the peas and etc. Gonna go in when the rice go in and cook for like a couple minutes. And you don't want the aki to like cook too much. So VIP marinade. Put a little bit in there. You know, maybe go for a minute. You know, we probably can put the salt fish in as well. You know. Yeah, we won't go ahead and put the salt fish in and let everything go together. A little bit of butter in here as well. Put it in there. More flavor. No? See that look cool already, yeah? Look real nice already. Mm -hmm. So what we wanna do is we're gonna sear this, you know, medium to you know high flame. They don't wanna get it too high either. They don't wanna kill the vegetable and in one go, you want them to cook down with the rice. So finish to reach where you want it to reach. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So, all right, when we come back, we're going to get into us, show you what we do the rest of it. Add the rice, add the water, you know, some coconut milk, you know, season up with some salt and pepper, add a little bit of pepper flakes, you know. Drop my bay leaf in there and my allspice, okay? 
So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna finish season up the pot. Pepper flakes, that's a little bit too much, so I'm gonna put half of that. It must come back in here. Okay. Agua, water. I'm putting a quart in here right now. First I'm starting with a quart because a quart a rice is supposed to get one and a half quart water. But I'm gonna start with a quart because there's a lot of these vegetables have a lot of water in here. Coconut milk, which is like maybe a cup as well, so you gotta make sure you count that amount of liquid as well in there. Alright? We get all that goodness out of the cup, you know. Don't leave anything in here. Okay. And don't forget the salt fish is a little bit salty, so you don't want to put too much salt in here, okay? Yeah. So you guys already know what we do to the salt fish. We boil it for 20 minutes, then debone it, take off the scale, you know, and it's ready to go. So I'll drop a little bit of salt because I'm going to taste it after before I add the rice and all that in here to make sure I got enough salt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can already smell the flavor in here already. And off camera I add up one bay leaf and two little pieces of allspice in here, okay? Yeah. So we're going to wait for this to come to a boil then we're going to put the rice in there. You know what I'm saying? And then we're going to take it from there. Then after the rice is in there and start like boiling a bit then we're going to go into adding the aki and the peas okay yeah and i said before if you guys want to make it vegan friendly just don't put no butter and no fish and that's it yeah same procedure you know? All right. so yeah take a look at this this is what you're looking for the vegetable not even to cook too much you know just just start boiling you know and I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the rice in there. And I taste it already, and it tastes good with salt. If you like your food extra salt, you can put a little bit more, but I like mine just barely taste salt, you know? Not too much salt in here. And if you notice, this is like we're gonna need a little bit more water in here, so. What you can do, you can just add some more water to it, but try to add warm water or hot water to it. You know, because it's already hot already, so you don't really wanna put any cold water in it. I just gonna kinda like slow down the cooking process. Yeah, that's what we look for. So after this like five minutes, then we're gonna add the aki in here and the bean. You know what I say? And as, as I was saying before, if it's a rasta pot, you don't need no salt fish and no butter. That's it. You know, we get the rasta pot energy going. Mm, look at that. Right amount of vegetables to rice. See it? Yes, that's what we're looking for. And I put the aki in there, everything gonna come more together and get more like. Nice. Alright, when we come back, we're gonna get into it. But you're gonna know if you need more water in your rice. But definitely, I need more water in here, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water in here. Okay? Yeah. So, yes, this is what we're looking for. We said the rice is barely bubbling. Cook for five minutes, then we're gonna add the rest of the stuff. So beans. You know. Aki now. And this aki is kinda a bit frozen because that's gonna kinda chill the cooking for a minute. Yeah. But that's not an issue. Normally I try to put raw aki in here because it's gonna take at least 15 minutes to cook. And in that time, so the aki doesn't smash and get like mushy, you know? Yeah, turn like mashed potato. Ooh. So if you can see the rice already start cooking, it's changing color, you know? So you know, so yes, it's working. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put down this little bit lower than medium and just let it simmer down. Right, so 10 to 15 minutes, they should be ready. And if you want, you can cover yours with a file paper, let it steam in. But I'm just going to put a cover on it and let it do what it does. And as me say, one pot style, aki and saltfish. I just add the beans in there for extra protein. You know what I'm saying? 
real VIP style flavor is good coconut milk I got a little bit of that virgin coconut oil in there as well you know what I'm saying simadon bay leaf you know what I say all spice mm. can't wait to eat this all right so this is what we're talking about when I say one pot you know I'll call it season rice we'll call it you know what I say rice with ackee and saltfish one pot style See that? Look at that. Nice. Aki them. Still firm. That's what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? If you follow it the right way, your Aki will not get like, you know, cook out mushy. Everything will come together. You have to follow the technique, you know? Don't sweat the technique. Just follow the technique. Mm -hmm. So we won't make a little plate now and let you see what it look like. But see what we're talking about. You know? Everything nice. Okay, that's coming from the bottom and it's still all up. You see that? Not mushy. Not soft. Technique. Always, you know? Yeah. So when we come back, we're going to set up a little plate and get into the, you know, finishing touch on it. So yeah, final touch. As we say, one pot style. Aki and saltfish, coconut milk, okra, all the vegetables that you want to add in there. If you want it to be vegan, then what we're going to do? We're gonna minus you know, a little bit of butter that we have in there and the saltfish and it's vegan friendly. You know what? Check it out. So this is the finishing touch. You know what I'm saying? Look nice, you know, a complete meal in one go. You know, you don't really take long, it's quick, you know. Happen real quick, easy. Don't forget, you know what I say? Subscribe, share, like, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend. Chop chop, we out. Blessings. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Peace.